Hi everybody, it is Crafty Glamper 77. I'm here with another Timu haul. I actually think this might be number 20, but in, to my defense, some of my orders have been broke down into two, so not really technically 20. But um, yeah, two days, already time for to go back to work, school starts, well, school starts for me in two days. Technically school starts Wednesday, I go back Monday. But I've got a big haul here, a big Timu bag. Um, so we'll just go ahead and dive in. I hope everybody's been doing great, having a great summer. We've actually been camping now for almost three and a half weeks. Um, July is usually really hot in Indiana, but it's been pretty mild. We've had some hot days, but we want to take advantage of the weather. For one, school starting and August will probably make up for how July was so pretty decent. But, um, okay, we'll get started. I did open up a couple, just to slim it down some of the packaging. Each of these were $1.79 and I bought them from the same seller and I absolutely love them. Um, they're made of wood and these right near here are those little are they called Holstein cows? They're, there's three pairs. They're all three different. You can see they're a little thick on the wood there. Not too thick. They're very lightweight. But here is what they look like. There's three different ones. Yep, my nails look terrible. I go today at 545 to get them done. They each all have double backings. This one fell off in the bag, but they do each have two rubber backings, so that's nice. Um, but I thought those were adorable. Fall will be here before we know it. Same seller, they're made of wood. Kinda wanna flip around, but my nails are so bad. Love them, the little leaves, the pumpkins, the lattes. Then we've got the Christmas ones, like the old fashioned Christmas bulbs, light bulbs, but I thought those were really cute. One good thing about Timu, if you find a seller and an item that you got you liked really well you can follow that seller um, and if you ever want to get anything from the future your future you already know the quality of the item that is going to be nice worth the money this right here Harley is laying here beside me we're in the camper I'm doing this haul is probably my second or third one the camper that is her snoring so if you hear anything I I apologize it's her but um we had one of these before but our phone number since changed i hope we know we never need it but it's just a little dog tag that goes on their collar you can pick the colors you want but they're all cute and whoops blingy so i picked of course the pink i love pink they had pink purple silver i'm not sure what else um but we put her har her name harley the full address and an updated phone number so very nice made they're nice and thick so cute i think you guys can hear stop the wiggle but yeah i just thought that was really cute dollar 79 for that you don't have to personalize them if you don't want to but didn't cost any extra so i went ahead and did that um got the kitty cats and toys bought ebby some little toys here she loves these mice a dollar seven for three they're all real squishy different material on each one that's kind of fuzzy that's smooth and that's like corduroy but they've all got these little tails but yes ebby absolutely loves these so got the kitty cat some stuff i got a little necklace here for a dollar seven uh, it's bag in a bag and my nails are so, they're like, as long as we've been camping, I haven't had my nail done, nails done since before we camped. I took my earrings out to clean my ears and stuff and the earrings and my nails are so long, I can't even grasp them to, they just, they're too slick, I can't grip anything. So I can't put earrings back in my ears till I get those done. Ooh, I really like that. I was worried the chain was gonna be cheap, like the chain, links you know how they can be really cheap but it's actually not and then this is what it looks like oh my goodness here everything wants to swing around 
but really cute. And it's got these little fake diamonds at the top corner, but I thought that was cute. Uh, I'm not gonna put it in both bags again. Okay, dollar seven. Anybody else still been binge watching Timu hauls? Me, so guilty. Um, there's a bunch that I like to do. This one I really like to watch too. She's just really laid back and chill and has a great personality. Um, it's called Hey Everybody. And Hay has three Ys. So if you haven't watched her hauls, jump on there and check them out because she's just, I don't know. I enjoy watching her. So I've been to watch all hers. Um, I was going to write down a couple others that I watched, but I forgot to do that. These were $1.61. I got another free item, and here it is. It's, um, oh my gosh, they're not fidgets. Get, gidgets, give it, gibbets. I think, <laughs> I think they're called gibbets. <laughs> I hope I'm right. Um, if not, um, I have people that will let me know. But I think this is twice I've picked them out and didn't realize it, but that's okay. We've got two granddaughters, so they'll have plenty to pick from. They'll each have them. Um, maybe even send my mom a set. But it's the Grinch. They've got different ones with them, and they're really cute. Um, I won't show them all, but I'll show a few just so you'll get the idea. You've got your hot chocolate. You know, you've got a Christmas tree. They're not all just the Grinch. There's the hot chocolate, the tree. I thought Max, yeah, Max is in here. And of course, him with his ornaments, but there's Max. So yeah, there's quite a few in here. And 17 pieces to be exact. So that's a really good price for these, especially, I mean, they're cheap already, but then I got that as my free item. Um, there's one thing on here. You guys probably will not believe me, but I actually even had to show my husband. I was just in shock. Two days in a row, I got a credit for a big item that I bought. It was like $35, $38, I don't know. I got two huge credits back to back. And then when I went to put more in the cart, the, the size I got wasn't available, just the smaller size was. And as soon as I put it in my cart and was finishing shopping, getting ready to submit my order, they were gone. It was taken out of my cart. Um, so right now it says it's unavailable. But outrageous deal on this. Um, but I will show. It's probably going to be my last item because everything is inside of it. This was $1.58. I absolutely love these little lights. They're for the camper. They have the little USB ports. And we have those all throughout our camper and the rooms, the bedrooms, the front room. So um, this time, instead of getting soft white, these are five in there and they're multicolor. So yeah, I got five of those for $1.58. And I just, I have a few, but I bought more just in case it ends up being one of those things that I can't get any more of. So they're perfect for the camper. Not too bright, a perfect little light. Um, nightlight and me on my little hats 368 it's pink oh and I really like it um, it's got it where no matter where you're gonna set your ponytail at it came with this little guy in here to keep the shape most of them do Just throw that on the floor but it looks I like it but it looks really tall like, look, look at the difference between here. Let me get the line with this one, with this one here. And look how, I'm gonna look like my, my head is like three feet long. But, you know, we'll give it a try. But for the prices, and I think I said 368, yes. It's got the mesh back, however you put your ponytail, high, low, wherever. Um, love that, love the pink, it's well made. The stitching is nice. There's the inside. Very nice hat. I love their hats. There's only been one or two that no matter what I did, I couldn't get the shape that I wanted. And I bought two more of these just because since we've been camping, I went to the shower house just to save us on some water so he wouldn't have to 
mess with that. Um, and I came back that night using my bog bag that I got that I absolutely love. That's what I take to the shower house. And my hat must have fell off the top of my bog bag, but it was dark out and I was walking back with a flashlight. But I went back that morning, even looked in the stall and the hook to see if I forgot to grab it, which I remembered grabbing it. But check anyway. It was gone, but it's my hot mess just doing my best hat. And I had it in the black gray color and I loved it. Paid more this time than what I did the first time. It was 404. But it's one of my favorite hats. Once again, it has the little shaper plastic thing inside. Sometimes they're flat because of how they've been shipped. And it's not necessarily Timu doing this. It has to go through customs. They open up everything. They smash and pack it all back in there. So by the time they get our order to us, it is a hot mess. So, but literally, I didn't get it for that. It's because I'm a hot mess. I'm just all over the place. That's the way my videos are too. So, but sometimes you just squeeze them back into the shape how you want them. But I love the distressed look. Stitching is always nice on them, but I just love that all the way around. It is a little wrinkly up there, but you know, through time, it'll, it'll flatten out. And then this one's a little different in the back. You can put your ponytail through there or you can put your high ponytail there. But I love the tan and I said I did get two because obviously I lose hats now like I do my sunglasses. So I got two and they have them in different colors. I paid 404 for this one, but I love the color. And it is also just like the other one. Nice distressing. Looks a little wrinkly up here, but like I said, it's how it's been in there for so long. So I'll just have to shape it and press it out myself. I'll get it. Wearing it on my head will form it, but it's made identical and I just love the color. I think they have blue, teal, black, orange. I can't remember all the colors. Um, I love these. These are like my new favorite camping shoe just to walk around in. I pay $3.38. Once again, I think I'm going to do it as every time I watch the haul. So my repeat watchers, thank you for watching me and all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscri subscribing to my channel. It, I don't make money off of it or anything. Um, I am not whatever you call it through Timu. I buy everything myself, so I'm not sponsored. That's the word I'm looking for. But um, yes, thank you for subscribing and for all my new subscribers. It's awesome. I think I'm actually over 4,000. I remember the day I never even thought I'd probably get one and then it just slowly climbed, which I just think is so awesome. But I'm rambling again. So for the ones that might be actually new to Timu or don't know this yet, the day you place your order, start checking for your refunds, their price adjustments. You get on your page with your Timu. Um, I've downloaded the app on my phone, I've got it on my iPad. But you get on there on my orders, and then you click on your order, like where pictures of your items are, click on that. It'll take you to another page, and that next page will say refund, I mean review, um, change address. It'll have a list of a few things. If you have a price adjustment, it will be right there. If you don't have one, if it's not listed, you don't have one. But check it the day you submit it. It's good for 30 days. You can get more than one price adjustment on the same item. And what make, what reminded me to do this is because I paid $3.38 for these and they ended up costing me just a little over $2. But it was like three separate price adjustments that I got. And I still check them. I check them twice a day. I get up in the morning, I check, and I check in the evening. But um, yes, day you submit, check for 30 days. You have 90 day refunds also. They also pay, do um, Klarna, Afterpay, your debit card, of course, stuff like that. But I like Klarna and I have purchased some of mine through Klarna. They do where you can make four payments where you can set it up that way like a payment plan. But I love these. Anyway, these. They're not real thick, but just walking out here or inside the camper or whatever, they're perfectly comfortable and I love them. They're this foam. I have seen these little, not identical, but just like these because these little foam slides are coming out really popular. Um, mine are a 3839. 
I apologize, I'm not sure what size that is. But when you get on there, click on the chart and read people's um, reviews. Some people might say it's big. They size big, they size small. So that'll give you an idea of where to go with your size too. But yes, I love them. They're comfortable. I've seen ones like this um, at TJ Maxx for almost $20. So this style and material of the shoe um, are really popular right now. But I love these and they're perfect for the shower house because I won't stand in the shower house barefoot, no way. I do those and they dry fast. Um, I got me another pair, 308. And these right here have the little bunnies on them I thought were cute. For some reason, these look smaller. 36, 37, 38, 39, oh boy. Yeah, there would be just a little bit of a difference. I think the pink ones are gonna fit me better than what these are. These look like they'd fit my mom. My mom has such tiny feet. I'm a seven and a half. She's like a, she buys her kids and her shoes in the kids department. Like no joke. She's got these little teeny weeny feet but they're so cute. Okay, sorry, Harley. Um, same concept, they're just little foamy slippers. Has little bunny ears that say home, but I got these in gray. I'm even gonna have a pair um, that I just use for the house and I don't wear outside, so I don't have to worry about my carpet or anything, you know, for these ever getting dirty. But that's probably like my fifth or sixth pair and I love them. I think I have another order where there's two more in there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get me a little tote just to put them in. Um, 3.23, it's another hat. I apologize for the noise. 3.23, I got the gray, black, and they're, these hats come in all colors. All colors. Okay. This one also, high ponytail or your lower ponytail. I'm sorry if I wasn't telling you. They are Velcro. I like the Velcro. Um, I noticed that they got the metal and they slide the adjustment thing. Sometimes it moves. So I really like the Velcro. It seems to stay in place much better. But cute. I got the black. I liked a couple other colors, but I felt like the pink popped off the black color the best. And it's got the distressing love it and it just says simply blessed so i pretty well can say i'm stocked up on hats love hats okay this is for emmy she's her daughter that um you saw did a haul with me because it was such a big one i needed help um this was 237 and i got a price adjustment on it it does look really really small um but it has a lot of stretch to it. I mean, this stretches with you. So I thought it was cute. All the girls are wearing their little tops like this now, but like I said, when you put it on, it will give. They had tan and cream or an ivory color, and I think we got the white. But yeah, and it's really soft. The material is really nice. It's really nice, soft material. It's got kind of like a little pattern in there. So it's a really cute top. You get this with a jean jacket over it and some jeans or something like that. Cute, very cute. So there's that. Oh my gosh, I thought I was done with hats. Okay, so you have to look at one more. This was $2.60. And it's not, speaking of, that's probably why I got it or why it worked out that way. I don't really, I'm not crazy about the adjustments because they slide and sometimes they're hard to adjust. But this one says, don't forget to smile. And I don't know, it was simple, but here it's really smooshed. Let's see here. Don't forget to smile, but I love the material stitching once again is good this is not a distressed one it's just a, a simple cute little hat but i like it inside is made nice like i said it just has no high ponytail nothing like that it's just your plain little hat got a little string that fell 
but yeah, it's cute. Didn't cost that much. Am I bothering you? I'm sorry. I'm leaning over and I'm probably smashing you. You want to get down? Okay. Bear with me, people. Sorry. Here. Kept messing Harley up. Had a blanket up here because she likes to be covered up. But I'm going to put it on the floor and she'll get down here underneath on, by my feet. There you go. Okay. My husband says she is going to be such a mess whenever I go back to work because she's literally everywhere with us. She, she goes on about every car ride. Unless it's somewhere we're going to go inside for a while and she can't be out in the, you know, the hot car. $4.99. It is not going to fit me. I got the 3XL, but you have to remember their sizing is a little bit different. Oh, this is a Timu shirt. I'm fine. Everything's fine. So, not a Timu hat. This was one I got at a boutique. Um, and I'm, I haven't bought any there for a long time. I've been buying them off Timu because they're so cheap. But... Yeah, I think I might send it back. It's just, even though it's a 3X, I think it was supposed to be for like close to a double D or something. But I'm, it's 90% polyester. Yeah, and it's, but it's not tight enough down here around where the waist part is. You know, your ribs where it goes around there. And I like it a little bit thicker material and tighter to give some support. And I feel like there is going to be no support that comes from this at all. It's just too giving. It's, I just, yeah. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, I might see if somebody else wants it. If not, I'll send it back. It wasn't Timu's fault, it was mine. I was going by the sizing chart, and you don't know what it's gonna be like on the material and stuff until you buy it, even though I bet I read the reviews. Um, it's just not tight enough. It's not gonna have enough support. I don't, when you're a little bigger busted, the weight's there, so you don't want to drop, droop. I like the support, it makes me feel better, more comfortable. Um, I was going to put Harley in this outfit because she was sitting up here, but she got tired of me smashing her because someone wanted to see Harley in her outfits, and I, I even replied that I would put her in one, and I forgot. So, maybe at the end of the haul here, if you guys will bear with me, I can put her in one. So, just remember, when I, when I kind of say I'm done, I'll be doing that last. So, if you don't want to see her in her little outfit, you can just go on to your next video, but... She's not a fan of it. I used to put her in stuff all the time, but I got away from it, so now I'm trying to get her used to it again. So, I paid $1.79. Cute little bag. And I got her a 2XL. She is a York and a Havanese mix. Havanese are a little bit bigger than Yorkies, so she's kind of like 15, 16 pounds. But, um, she is a little overweight. But, in the defense of her having the Havanese and part of her... Um, bloodline. That's why she's a little bit bigger. She was a Yorkie. Her, she probably should be around 9 or 10 pounds. But it says, I only love my bed and my mama. I'm sorry. But that's what it looks like. Very cute. Um, it's, it's good t-shirt quality. It does give a little stretch. It's put on there real nice where the tummy goes. It's nice and short. And then for her back, it will cover her back good. But plenty of room for the neck and head. I don't like to have anything tight around her neck. I won't do it. Um, the arms, she'll have plenty of room around her arms so she doesn't feel restricted like she can't walk. But there's that for $1.79. It's cute. It's Hayati? I don't know, but the A or the O looks like a little dog paw. I don't know what the brand is. I'll set this here so I don't lose that in case I, I do put her on that. If she'll let me. It might be one of those things where I just need to put it, her in a couple and figure out how to screenshot it in my videos. 
Okay, there's seven pairs in here for $7.59. I got mixed colors. I've seen mixed feelings on videos with people and their undergarments. I love them. Um, they stay up, they don't slide down. I have no problems. Victoria's Secret used to be my favorite place for underwear, but I swear to gosh, when you're paying, what is it? We don't have Victoria's Secrets anywhere. Our closest one's over an hour away now. Is it five for 30, five for 35? I don't even know what they are. It's been so long since I bought them. But it, these are the no seam. So as you see, they're completely smooth. And I love the shape of them, but they're, they're really nice and they're cotton here, but then they've got the, I don't even know what this, I am so, so bad when it comes to my material. It is 75% polyamide and 25% elastane. So I don't even know what elastane is, but I've seen it on stuff, but I love them. They do stretch. Um, they're, you really can't see it, I guess, but they're sewn here and the stitching is really good and tight. But yes, I've been wearing them since I bought my pack for my last haul or whatever it was, and I absolutely love them. But anyway, I got black, this real pretty taupe color. I don't know. It looks different on there from what it does actually look at. It looks like a dark grayish, I don't know. It's pretty. And you got your tan. I got more of the neutral colors this time. And then this like rose color that I love. And then I have pink. And then there's purple. And then there's cream. So yeah, you got all these really pretty colors here. And I just, I don't know if a lighter color will look better, but if you can see the seams and stuff better than the black, absolutely not. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it's because it's in here. It's not even really sewed on, I don't know, but it's together really good and tight. But anyway, I love them. Love them, love them. And you got seven for seven fifty nine. dollars so you're paying, what, a dollar a pair, just around there. So, can't beat that, but love them. And I will be getting more of those. I did write, have my husband write price adjustments on some things. I think I, I get so ahead and excited on stuff, I forget to tell you when it's a price adjustment, but there was a price adjustment on a few of these. So if you haven't checked for those today, guys, girls, go in there and check. This is the chain quality I'm talking about. I don't like the chain link ones because they're really cheap, which I mean, 97 cents. I'm not gonna complain but they won't last that long. And I'm trying to get used to wearing necklaces again. And I got one that I really liked and I wasn't used to it. And went like this with my hair yanked on the chain. Hardly, hardly hard at all. Snap that little bugger right in two. So I kept the piece. I just have to get a different chain. But anyway, it was cute. It's simple. Um, I think they had a white and, oh my gosh. Oh, it's, I kept turning it around because I thought one side was blank, so I kept trying to turn around the W, and then I'd do that, and I'd see the W again, I thought, what? I thought I just turned that around. Well, girls, guys, it has the W on white on both sides. Wow, aren't I an airhead? But yeah, I think that's cute. It's got a W for my last name, so, and it does have the chains where you can adjust in the size and it gets smaller for the necklace part. But that was only 97 cents. Okay. My next one was 71 cents. It's almost out of package here, coming out the side. It's another necklace, same kind of um, chain. Ooh. This one's a hot mess. Ah, it's a hot mess. Um, okay. I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this, but... Oh, and with that girl on Hey Everybody with um, three Ys, I believe it is. Um, she got a new kitty cat. She's got a cute, beautiful cat named Clover. 
Um, she had another older cat. I think they were about the same age. I'm not sure, but he passed away and maybe Clover has been lonely and stuff like that. So she got him a little kitten and I'm not sure if she's naming him Buster or what she's ended up naming him, but he's just a cute little black cat. And I have a solid black cat, except a little bit of white here and which some of you guys have seen with my videos. His name is Ebby. But yeah, you have to jump on there. She's really cool to watch and she gets different things. Um, things that you would never even think about or even seen on there, but it's just kind of cool because you get to see such a variety that Timu has. Um, but this is just another W to wear. So, and it was 71 cents. But there was no color to it. It was all just this silver. There's that. Got this. I'm going to get out some of my other small things here. The Apple Watches bands, you just can't beat their prices. You go and buy an Apple one or even some off of Amazon and even plain colored ones might be four or five dollars and up. You can get these little cute ones with the designs for four fifty eight. I got the size thirty eight forty. couldn't wait to do this haul because I got a couple of cute ones and I'm wanting to change my band. But yeah, there's the band. It's really pretty. It's like the silicone. It's, excuse me. It's really soft inside. It's just kind of it goes through the slit and then it has that part. So you just kind of push it in to whatever hole you need it and then you just take it and slide it. So it's not like our watch kind where it fits in the the hole, the prong or anything. But yeah, real cute. Love the colors. For $4.58. Um, I don't know what's going on with my heels, but I, I think with these being 411, I stretch to reach things a lot. I stand on my tippy toes. Well, I work at the school and I can't reach everything. And I stand on my toes and like stretch, stretch, stretch. These were $1.48 and I got a price adjustment back. Um, one time I felt something pop in my heel and it kind of hurt. It burned a little bit. Well, I've noticed that if I sit down for very long periods of time, well, it can be a short time, but if I sit down for a break after I've gotten off work for an hour or whatever and watch something and get up, my heels are so sore I have to like walk a little bit and then once I get to walk and it's like it's walked it out. I don't know, it sounds so weird, but my heels hurt a lot. Um, and I don't know if it's just the stretching on my heels or what I've done, but I never had this problem until I started the job at the school and um, I have to stretch for things like I do. But you just put, they're just foam, but they're tight. They don't give much and that's the sole purpose of it but you put it on your heel and it's supposed to be like, I don't know, apply pressure. Um, it had a name for this and I, this one size fits all. And if I wasn't using my phone, I would look it up on my phone. I just don't want to mess up my video. Um, I don't know when you record with phones, I can't seem to push pause. If I push pause, it stops my video and I have to do a whole like start over. There's no pause and then continue and like hit unpause. That drives me crazy. I used to be able to do it with my iPad, but then my iPad quit recording. So I start doing it on my phone. But anyway, do I have a string? Oh, nope, that's the crack on my screen. I thought I had a big string hanging down right here from my hat, but it, there's a crack and it's on my screen protector thing. I've got a crack on there, but they're just foamy. Like I said, they're tight. They have these little holes in them, the breathable holes. Um, I got me two pairs and they're actually a little bit different. So if one didn't work, hopefully the other one would. But someone said something of what it could be called on your heels, but I don't know. My feet hurt me so bad sometimes and it's mainly my heel. But $1.48, I'm not whining and griping. I'm just trying to give you the reason that I bought something like that because it's not a normal thing I would just buy. But, um, oh, and here's another watch band, 224. Oh, I should have brought scissors. Okay, turn your head for people that don't like this. Sorry, use my teeth. 224, and I love it. 
And so this thing being round that you punch it in, it's like an odd shape, oblong shape. So you can kind of see there. And actually you can see through it. Um, let me pull it apart. But yeah, it's almost like a clear, but then not, because see how you can kind of see my skin go through there a little? Pretty, it's got these flowers on them. I think it's pretty. It's the silicone, but I absolutely love it. I don't know which band I'm going to use first. I bought me a few bands, just like I have hats off of Timu because the prices are just unbeatable and the quality. Um, I bought some of these for my Nintendo Switch. Our granddaughter, Mia, has a Switch and she wanted these too. They go for the little controllers, the Switch controllers. Um, it was $1.84 and they sell these in pairs because you need a left and a right. Um, and you pick different colors. I got the original Switch, the red and the blue. Oops. Oh, there's the pink one. Okay. But they're like this. You can kind of see how they wiggle. They're nice, very, very soft silicone. I love mine. They've got a nice thick support in there. Both of them do. But they literally just slide on there like a piece of cake. There's nothing difficult. And you think they would just fall right off, but they don't. They stay on really nice. And then for your switch controller, they have the little buttons, you know, the little knobs that move around. And these just go right on top of them. If you want to switch it up and switch your colors on them to make them a little different, you can do that. Or you can just put them to the one that they match with. But I love mine and I kind of wish now I've got the different colors because I think this real pretty green and that hot pink are beautiful. I love those two colors together. So $1.84, you go on to the Nintendo website and stuff like that and see how much these go for or even Amazon. I should have done that. Anything I have bought for Switch or Nintendo on um, Timu, way cheaper, way cheaper than purchasing on Amazon, no joke. Okay, our daughter needed some more of these. It was $3.77 for white. Five of them. I'm going to take a couple. She only needed two or three. But they're hat holders. Came with the five. You literally just peel off that tape, stick it on the wall, and you can just hang your hat up. Just like that. And they're nice plastic. So they will last um, they're only holding you know a little hat so they all come with the red sticky tape on it so there is five of those for 377 she's got them really cute she's got a real cool dandy she got from Ikea for her sweet 16 to let her pick out a whole thing she got a mirror with the lights to go around it and her vanity set well on this left part of her wall she's got these all staggered out and has um, her hats on there, kind of like displaying them, and it looks really cute. She doesn't really wear hats very often, and I more so just when I camp um, or I do my hauls. Um, I guess I wear it. If I don't feel like doing my hair, yeah, I feel on a hat. That's called lazy, but that's me. Um, when it comes to my hair, I'm a little lazy. So, those are really cute how she did that. My daughter. Our daughter, our granddaughter, our oldest one, this was two seventy seven for a ten piece. She's gotten into collecting race erasers. And sorry guys for the noise. I know it's so annoying. Oh poo. I don't want to open them because they're for her. But two seventy seven, she got ten. I'll show a few and I hope it's not too glary. But she got this little alligator. He's cute. And you got this little seahorse. Yeah, and they're just these little rubbery racers. But um, she's got a cute little collection and some of them might come apart. Like this little ladybug looks like he could come off the leaf. But if you look on there on erasers on Timu, um, you wouldn't believe the different kinds of erasers. And they're making them like for collectors. They're real cute, you just collect them. You don't wanna use them. But that one's really cute. You've got this cute little bear does have little eyes and a nose on there but of course the glare and I can't just peel it I literally have to cut it it's 
got this cute little dog and his head, he almost looks like his head turns, but it's a cute little puppy. And we got the frog. Okay, so I guess I am showing on 10. I'll do it quickly. The old Halloween bat. You got your little camel. He's cute. He's even got the little humps on his back. I don't know if you can see him, but he does. He's cute. Cute little penguin. He's got his little eyes on there. That little belly. And his little flippers look like they move up and down. He got <clears throat> his little seal sea lion or whatever you want to call him but he's cute and that's it but yeah those are adorable okay. I could probably do this after but I've got a, a nice little hot mess on the floor but it's one less thing I have to worry about okay a few more here um, I got me a little gnome for $4.97. Oh, I had, a, I had a tear in it. Here I'm looking for how to open it and it just slides right out of there. Okay, $4.97. He's cute. He's got a little wooden nose. He's got this little bone. It's made out of Velcro or that little square material that you can make things out of. And it's got this uh, little jude rope. Um... His little beard. His little hands are wooden down there. I'm trying to get his beard. He's kind of a, he's shedding too. He's losing some of his beard, a little piece. But yeah, and then it says, home is where the dogs are. But I thought he was cute. He's not real heavy, but he stands there nice. He's cute. I like him. I love gnomes, love gnomes. Okay. Here's the other thing I got for my foot. It was $3.98. So, I'm curious. People that are buying stuff off Timu, how do you feel about it? I absolutely love it. I've had a couple disappointments on things. But Timu has always made it right. Um, I've heard some people have to mail their items back. I haven't had to do that. Doesn't mean I never will. I think I've only returned four things, four or five maybe, excuse me, at the most. Um, they just give me a credit immediately and um, tell me to keep it. So, okay, not sure without seeing the pictures, but not very giving, which is the point. And then it's really thick right here. It's cushy, so it is soft, but you gotta squish hard on it. it it's it's not so squishy to where you don't have support, but it come with two of those. I'm sure one's a lefty and a righty. But anyway, I'll have to look at the pictures. Yep, it says right. There's your little R and there's your little L. So right and left. But I really hope these, one of these works for my heels. Okay, that was, I have no idea why I had two in there. Well, these are my free things, and these are those doc, um, the Grinch gibbet, gibbets. And this one he wrote free, but I just had another thing I showed you guys. Okay, so there's two in there. I'm going to have to look at that. 338 and these are all those gibbets too. I'm not sure. 36. Wow. I won't put all these back in here. I'll scoot them aside. But um, the little squishmallows, is that what they're called? Those big pillows. The girls picked those out because they liked them. Um, these are really cute. They have the backs like this, so they fit right in their crock. They're real, these are a little bit thinner, but they're still cute. This looks like a little candy corn. I don't like candy corn. Anybody else like candy corn? But anyway, I was curious. Anybody that's um, ordered off Timu, how do you feel about the stuff you've got? Um, are you happy with most of it? All of it? Um, are you addicted like I am and most of the other people that shop from Timu? Um, just curious your thoughts on it. Um, the duck and a cow. Cute. These are all really cute. And then there's a little fox 
a little mummy. So they got different themes going. Some are just animals and some are all dressed up. That's like a Western cow or something. Got your pig and your frog. Uh, a monkey? I'm not sure. But yeah, these are all like really, really cute. So I think that was a bee. But anyway, and a little koala bear is cute. But those are for the girls. $3.38 for $36. That's a good buy. Um, this is my last. The ones that don't like the teeth thing. Turn away just for a hot second. Okay. I paid $2.78. And I love this one. See, this is like the regular how... Um, excuse me, like our watches were back in the day that we used to wear. You know how you have to stick that up through there? Just like that. These are little puppy paw prints. Really cute. It's silicone, it's gray, and it did come in all different colors. 278. Um, these are called Princess, $1.47 price adjustment. There was 10 pieces. These are really cute. Um, I always wear my hair up for work, and then I got these little baby hairs, the short ones in the back, and I always raise them up, put a bobby pin. Oh my gosh, I ripped that in there. You can open it right here. Oh, and they're like silicone too and rubbery. Cool beans. Ooh, and they snap good. Here's the black. It's like that, just like the metal ones back in the day. And you just push it. But yeah, there's all these pretty colors. This is a dark bluish gray. You got gray, burgundy, the hunter green. Can't really tell it, can you? Hunter green. That's a light gray. This is like a dark bluish color. Dark gray, light gray, your peachy orange, your rose color, the green, the mustard, and then you got your black. So those are really cute. I'm excited. Different colors I can match with my outfits. $1.47 with a price adjustment. Love this little thing. I've got one for our softener, and I've now got one for our detergent. I use pods and liquid but you literally just lay your thing down. It comes in two pieces. It is a nice thick plastic. Probably end up doing this wrong because I'm having a hard time picturing how this goes. Okay, yep, just like that. It pushes right in those holes and then you hang it on the neck and it is open, but it'll slide right on the neck of it and then you put your lid of your softener or detergent right there. You can just pump it or whatever, but when you're done using it, you just set it right there and it holds it. I absolutely love it. I have it for my softener and I wanted one for my detergent. So I paid $1.68 for that. Cute pair of earrings for $1.07. Um, one, two, three. There's these little backs on them. There's three, four, five. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I didn't warn you guys that time. There's like five backs. They're just, see my nails are so long, can't grab anything. Oh, they'll probably fall out. They're just those little teeny, one, teeny weeny ones. I don't use those. I can't anyway with that tear in my ear. I, I buy a different kind. But it's this yin yang, um, the tree of life. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that really good. I hope you can. But it's yin yang tree of life. And I thought it was cute. Um, stick that back in there how they did. Yeah, there's three of those backs there. That would be my dog. <laughs> Harley, are you wanting back up here? Just you want back up here with mama? Hold on, I'm almost done. I bought my first pair of shoes, you guys. I did, I did. Let me show you these earrings real quick. 89 cents. And these are like the Rolling Stones. Um, the little mouth. Can you see it there in the tongue? I just thought those were adorable. I don't know. I, th I like them. I thought they were cute. They just come with the little plastic wax. They're clear and you can't even see them. The little silicone ones. I don't like those at all. I never use them. They'll go in the trash. They don't work good for me. Here's my shoes, and I did get a price adjustment. I think they ended up being over $10. No, 
they ended up being over $12 because it was only like $2 and something I got back. Um, $12.48 is what I paid. I have not tried these on yet. They had them in white. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. Now you go under. There you go. Um, they're nice and stretchy. Um, they don't look bad on your soles. They're actually really nice and soft. They don't stink real bad. But if you ever do get anything that is stinky and needs aired out, just put it outside or air it out for like 24 hours and it's usually just fine. These just smell like regular shoes to me. They don't smell bad at all. But I thought these were really, really cute. They're smooshed. They, it's how they've been handled in there and I can't seem to make them take their form. Well, there you go. Just regular shoe tie. Um, the, it's not a loose tongue. It is attached to the shoe. But it's nice and stretchy, so it's like going to be a nice slip-on shoe. Um, inside is really, it's cushy. I don't know if you can see my fingerprints, but then they're really nice and cushy. And it says a 38. I wore a seven and a half, so I'm not sure what I did. But hey, guys, I really think these are pretty. I love them. Nice, soft, light sole. And they don't look cheap made. You're not going. You don't even see glue. What is that? Oh, just plastic. But yeah, it's together really nice and clean. Interesting. I'm excited to see how these feel. Okay, I'll give an update on those in my next haul because I don't know how to add clips. You know, none of my stuff is edited. If I say something off the wall I just do um, I can't try things on and put the clip in there because I don't know how to do any of that I'm just plain unedited raw material so sorry there's no, nothing fancy schmancy on my videos I wish I could do stuff with them but and I've said all this a million times too but I just can't I don't know how $2.98 but I thought it was a really cute pillowcase and I have that little gnome's beard I love old timey looking stuff retro looking stuff and it's so cute here I'll get a little closer so you can see her kitty cat sitting on her broom like our black kitty Abby um love the material it's keep knocking down everything it's really nice you just unzip it here it's good and not real thick, but it's been put together very nice. I really like this. It looks like a potato sack bag material, but it's a lot softer than regular burlap stuff. But you can see the material. Love it. It says Halloween greetings. Now it looks like a little postage stamp, like an old time postage stamp. See how that's there? And it really could be, you never know. But yeah, I like the looks of stuff like that. Very cute. Very well made. I like that a lot. $2.98. I'll be buying more pillow things. There's a set of four on a Christmas one that I really want. Now, I Cricut, but I don't have a printer where I can print off colored stuff all on one format and put on my shirt. So, sometimes I buy those at, I can buy them at, Hobby Lobby. Even the Dollar Tree has them sometimes. But I bought this one off there for $1.29. Um, says Merry Mama, but the material you can tell you put down your shirt like that and it'll just adhere to it. But I do have the press and everything like that. So I thought that was really cute and I'm going to make a Christmas shirt out of that. But I really like that. Mary Mama. I had like eight or ten of these different things in there. And I thought, no, this isn't a crafting haul. Which none of my hauls really have themes. I might buy more of one thing than I do other things, but um, I took it all the way down to one. I really like this one. Oh, I fibbed. I thought I did. I took it down to two. This one I paid $1.48 and had a price adjustment. I actually think it made it 98 cents. It was like 50 cent credit or something. But this witch needs coffee before any hocus pocus. 
but yeah I thought that was really cute got the pot the coffee the broom the hat all that good jazz Sanderson's coffee is what that what it says on the coffee mug oh now come on don't do that to me okay there she goes and when I read the reviews on these so I started following the person actually I'm gonna do this I've already followed them but um, I'm gonna do this make sure I do want to continue to follow them all the reviews were really good on anybody that's bought their stuff and made shirts and things out of them okay I love retro I love the original looking Santa and stuff like that for Christmas I don't know what's going on with my hair besides it's a hot mess <laughs> I'm camping so I don't worry too much about it but um, I love it did not come bent I've seen some where they come bent this is a seller that I'm following. I've actually bought a couple others from them. Oh my goodness. $3.99 with the price adjustment. I only think it was like 16 cents or so. I don't care. I would have paid $5 or whatever for it. It was a good price. But you got your four holes on your corners to hang it. Um, Woolworths. I used to have a wool. We used to have a Woolworths. Um, close to home years ago when I was little and I had a little restaurant there. I loved going as a little girl. Um, we no longer have that at our mall, but does anybody else remember Woolworths? But anyway, I love this Santa. It's my favorite Santa look. Um, Woolworths, America's Christmas store. But I love that Santa. It's so pretty. He is a beautiful Santa. He's eight by 12 and there's the, of course you can bend it, but it came in perfect condition. There is no creases whatsoever. It was in mint condition, but I love him. Loving, loving. Here, I'll put him back in a minute. And then I've got two more things. Didn't know we was gonna have to put these together, but I got these for the grandbaby. She loves Barbies, 48 cents. And it came with, on the picture it shows two little packs of cars like the box well I'll just get them out because the plastic likes to put a glare I've got my window up it helped with the lighting but still get a glare on here you have to put these little boxes together yourself there's the back of the cars so you have to punch each one of them out yourself but they're cute I mean it's literally your cards it's even got the kings, queens, aces, and all that kind of stuff. So we'll put those together, and Ava can have little packs of cards to go with her Barbies. Oh, it's cute. It was cute. Okay, 48 cents. Oh, I fib. It moved over to the side, and I didn't see it. Another pair of earrings I got. For $1.27. I cut these open already. Um, very cute. Red, white, and blue, and it's got all your little fake diamonds in there. And they got your kind of long, not too bad. But it has those little ends that I never use on mine. They're just so tiny. I, I don't use those backs. But yeah, those are really cute really really cute I like them okay now this is what I was talking about on the item oh I wish I'd have wrote it all down why don't I think of things beforehand rather than daring and then I can't do anything um this bog bag this is the large love it this is why I said it was going to be last because they had, literally had everything inside. Hold on. Now, the bag, the ball bag thing, is attached to the TV bag. Okay. Let's. OMG, Becky. <laughs> okay. Here. Bear with me. Okay. Wow. 
Yeesh. Yeah, I couldn't get it apart. It's all stuck to the bag. But this, my nails are too long. I can't, oh well, I can't turn them over. This got her, or this great big one. Mine is a medium. Maybe mine's a large and this is extra large. I'm not even sure now, but it's huge. Look at all that room. Like, here's a remote control, okay? It's huge, love it. It's nice and thick. You can see how thick it is. The handles are nice and thick. Right there, you can see how thick they are. It's got the bottom. It's like tire tread. But yeah, I just love this. Just love this. Um, it's a beautiful bag. And I literally, I kid you not, I kid you not, I paid $38 or $39 for this one. I got back-to-back -back credits. Um, one day, I got $12 and something back on this bag. I couldn't believe it. I thought that was awesome. Because um, some of my credits, when I've been getting them, they're like a penny. They're not as often as they used to be. But then I was feeling that way and said that in a couple of videos. But now I've been getting credits again lately. And some of them really good. Even getting my coupons back. 10 off 70, 20 off of 100, 40 off of 150, or 50 off 200. You know, those. Been getting a bunch of those again. Um, but yeah, this right here, $38 or $39. Got a $12.42 or $12 and something credit. The very next day, whatever the totals end up being, this bag with my two credits ended up being six dollars and something because I think the next day it was 18 so maybe I only paid 36 for the bag it was almost seven dollars where I paid for the bag one for my two credits one was 12 something one was 18 something almost 19 dollars that I got that huge two credits with this bag right here so I it added up with those when I did it, $6.97 is what I paid for this. When I saw that after I got that second one, I thought, I'm gonna make me another haul. So I got on there, still had them. All the other colors, um, they had leopard and different ones. They were all more expensive, but this one was still $6.97. So when I went to put it in my cart, it was there. I put it in my cart, kept shopping and stuff. I don't even know if it was a few hours later or what, but when I went to submit it, it had been taken out of my cart, unfortunately. I wasn't fast enough. Um, and then it said, item unavailable. So, that's okay. I, I didn't get the deal twice. I didn't expect it the first time, but I got it the second time. And this is a huge bag. You see my hand. It is a big, big bag. And I absolutely love it. It does come with those buttons. There is accessories on Timu that you can punch in there. It'll hold your phone and different stuff. They're different sizes. Um, you can replace these if need be or lose one or whatever. But yeah. Y'all. $6.97 for this huge bog bag. Um, I, I was so shocked. I couldn't believe it. I was like, babe, oh my gosh, I got another credit. I was excited off the $12 one. But when I got the second one, I'm... I took those two totals off of what I paid and it was $6.97. I was like, oh my gosh. Our girl loves a deal. I already felt like I was getting a good deal, but when you get that added on top of it, it's like, wow. Okay. Har har. Will you let mommy put you in an outfit by chance? So if you guys don't want to see the poor dog in her little outfit, um, Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad you guys get on here with me. And if, whether you roll your eyes at me, laugh at me, with me, whatever, um, I still thank you guys for taking the time. Hopefully I can put a smile on somebody's face. I probably put eye rolls on people's faces too. Who knows? But very happy um, for everybody that follows my page, watches and with me and all the new ones too. I just... I think it's fabulous. I never expected it, so. Um, I swear this dog knows that I have an outfit up here because she's like 
backed herself into the corner. If I don't get it on here, I'll take a picture and see if Emmy can't help me edit a picture. But it'll be of this one right here. Come here, baby. She's not moving. Okay. I won't push my luck with her. But I'll do that. I'll put it on there. So, um, all right. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate y'all watching. And have a blessed day. Once, yes, again, I'm in my camper. Um, it's not like being in my craft room. I'm still a little unorganized and the lighting's crazy. Oh, she's jumping up here. Come here, Hardy. Mommy's got something. Come here, baby. You wanna see? Come here. Oh yeah, come here. Good girl, come here. Okay. All right, everybody, we're gonna give her a go. Okay. Here. I'll have to wash my table when I'm done, but the only way you're really going to be able to see her good, I'm sorry, honey. I usually have you standing the other way, um, but I'll put her up here so you can see. Come oh, here. That's such a good girl. Look, it's got big arms. You can move around in this one, baby. It's, it's a little long. Some are by extra large and it's not enough, but here, here's Harley in her little outfit. Say hi, everybody. Oh, she don't seem too, too bad right now. It's got plenty of room on her belly. She's got good room here. Such a good girl. Okay. All right. There's a little demo. Lo love my baby girl in her little outfits even though she doesn't that much. Thanks everybody again for watching. Have a blessed day. And until next time, we'll see you guys. Bye.